everybody welcome back to Jimmy's promo and today we'll be taking a look at the second software update push for the month of June so right here you can see that we're running the version of ATE4 this one was actually pushed out on June 1st which gave us the June 1st security patch so on the top of the phone you can see here that I have an update that's being postponed it's sitting right here this one was pushed out yesterday on June 15th Today is June 16th, and this brand new software version ends in ATF1. Now this one is a unlocked Galaxy S20 that resides here in the United States. Uh, the size right here is 441 megabytes. Don't really know exactly everything that's a part of this. I believe one of them, uh, especially if you have the Galaxy S20 Ultra, one of the main things you might notice is that if you're trying to take a picture of something really close up, you'll have another pop-up on the screen that's actually pushing you back a little bit further so it's able to get a better focus originally you're able to try to get some macro images then one of the updates pushed you back a little bit more and now this one might push you back just a little bit further but I will be taking a look at just a couple things really fast trying to see if I noticed any updates with this one here the Galaxy S20 but again stay tuned if you have any other carrier phone if you're using the Galaxy S20 the S20 Ultra there has been two pushes of updates this month one on June 1st and the other one on June 15th. So the update is complete. You can see here our build number is now showing ATF1, which was changed from June 1st, which is ATE4. I took a look at several different things. There was only two that I noticed, uh, and that was one of them inside of the camera. Uh, right over here, I still keep mine as that 9x16. I do like that rectangular look when it comes down to photos and videos. But for some reason, they had an orange little updated dot with the 3x4, that 16 64 megapixel that I had here for the Galaxy S20. If I had the Galaxy S20 Ultra, that's that 108 megapixel. So there might be an update for that one there. So take a look inside your camera for any of the different capture modes and how you want it to look. Uh, so maybe they did some type of, a, of an update with autofocus with the larger uh, megapixel cameras. But other than that little camera update, the only other thing I can also see other than wallpapers is going to be that seamless earbud connection update that the Galaxy Buds had. So even though the Galaxy Buds got an update, it is all synced through Samsung account. So I feel like they had to go through one more security patch getting it updated for that to also work as well. The other thing that I did notice was that when you go through uh, the wallpaper. So one of the things that I love showing you guys off is going to be the wallpaper services, talking about the dynamic lock screen. Taking a look inside of dynamic lock screen, when you go through and select your categories, I just like to show this off because I get a lot of questions all the time. Hey, share your wallpaper. Where did you get your wallpaper? Things like that. Really, it all just comes right from here. I can always do a future video if you guys would like to take a look uh, where I can actually get these ones downloaded, put it into a file, and then you guys can get it downloaded to your phones as well if you don't have a Galaxy S20 phone. So we're going to go inside of landscape. We're going to take a look at some of these new images. Usually I use landscape or art. Usually I use art, but these are all, uh, from what I understand, to be pretty new images. Could be a couple of them from the last update and then a few new extra added ones. Uh, so this is what it all looks like here. If there's any of these that you guys would like to use, uh, just let me know in the comment section below and I can always shoot a video. You can also take a look at all of the art images. Uh, you can even switch it here from the lock screen. It just takes you right back over here. Then you're able to swipe right back on and go through some of them. So a few of these are from before, but there is, from what I noticed, a few of them that are brand new. Uh, but really, this is kind of all that I've seen so far with this update was uh, maybe a few more little security updates. I know that Samsung pushed out an update for the earbuds, so maybe they needed to push out one more security patch update that would kind of work a little bit better when it comes down to that seamless earbud connection. That's really the only other thing I can kind of think of other than um, that camera update as well. But hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.